What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, the franchise guy, coming at you again with another episode of MLB Road to the Show 19, featuring a top a top 15 third baseman in the league currently, Chance Bishop. Yes, just said top 15. I mean, it's his rookie season. You can't make him the best player in the league. You know, sure, he hit what 30. He hit mid 30s home runs. I think at what, he hit 34 home runs, I think, 37, somewhere in that range, between 30 and 37 home runs he hit, and I mean, you can't, you can't be labeling him the best player in the league right now, but pimping a home run like that, though, he's gonna be one of the most hated players in the league, real quick, because you can't be pimping home runs like that, pitchers do not like when you whip your bat in the air that high, I mean, that's his 13th of the season, 413 feet right there for Bishop, and I mean, yeah, I don't think he's the best third baseman in the league. I think he hits for power. I think he hits for really good average. Okay, that's that's really good. I mean, Bishop though just can't field. Jansk is, is not a good fielder. He is not a good fielder whatsoever. If he was a DH. He would be the perfect DH. He would be the prototypical DH that they wanted DHs to be when they first envisioned. Someone who can hit 40 home runs, bat 300, and then play every game. I mean, that's what I would be. Just a, an amazing DH. That's all I am. I'm a glorified DH in the National League because I can't field. You know, that puts a damper on things when you really think about it, but it's how it is unfortunately that sure we have some abilities right here to you know pick a line drive right there a fielding reaction go up but other times you know you see me field the ball where I'm gonna bobble the ball a couple times in the game and you know run score people are safe on base it should be out I get charged a couple errors I mean yeah it's not it's not fun not fun being a poor fielder because then it just lets it lets you down let your team down, let fans down. I mean, I think Chicago let these White Sox fans down, losing game one so far, 9-2. to two. But Getting in the next game, top of the second. Fisher going to send his one deep to the right center field. Center fielder is on the warning track, and he's going to camp under it for the easy flout. Nice big old can of corn. Warning track power, top of the fourth now. One man on one out. Bishop was in a line drive. Just about the same spot. That's going to get down, though, for a home run. His second home run in as many games so far on the series. His 14th on the year. 409 on the feet right there. And that home run was just an absolute bullet. I mean, it had the right amount of launch angle to just sail over that wall. At first, didn't think it was going to clear it. Really did not think it was going to clear it. But, hey, it did. It did, and I am more than happy about that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a line drive home run. How often you hit line drive home runs right there in, like, the second row? I mean, but uh, that one, though, <laughs> that is uh, a little more than a line drive home run. That is a no-doubt mammoth shot to center field right there. Disrespecting the pitcher, his mother, his family. His great grand uncle, everyone we just disrespected right there. You want to know why? Took that poor boy 450 to dead center. Yeah, you heard me, dead center 450. It's not just a meme. It is real life because uh, Chance Bishop is an absolute monster when it comes to slugging home runs. You want a player who slugs more home runs than Chance Bishop? Sorry, doesn't exist. You know we're. If, if we can hit home runs the same pace we hit home runs last season, we're going to be MVP. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. We will be MVP if we can hit home runs at the same pace we did last year. I mean, we played, I mean, we started like 110 games, hit 37 home runs. That's not including the months where we were just a majority pinch hitter. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we're a great batter. You know, we have a great swing. We swing upward, we 
you know, drive the ball. That time we don't talk about that, but win game number two right there, taking on game number three, and uh, not a home run, but a single nonetheless. Get that average up. Sometimes, sometimes that's what you need to do. You just need to get a single, get a plus two to cap increase. So that's a good thing to see right there. Never hurts to increase the cap for anything really. Home runs, contact speed. We need all of those caps to go up just to fly out to left field. Lame. Top of the sixth right now. Philly's down one to two. Bishop doing what he can, but that is not just good enough right now. He flies out to the center fielder. Top of the eighth right now. Two three game. It's gonna be the final last chance for Bishop as he's gonna get a ball down inside the foul line. Going to push it for second, and we are thrown out at second base right there. I mean, next at bat, we're intentionally walked. Do we get another at bat this game? We did not get another at bat. We did. We got another at bat. Top of the ninth, Phillies rallied for a six to four lead. You know, moving down to Atlanta right now. And Atlanta. Oh boy, Atlanta. You are, you are something. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to be humble right here. We're trying not to disrespect you in front of your home fans. But we're sometimes just going to get a hold of a ball right there. Send it off that wall. I mean, runner's going to stay at second. So we're going to scramble back to first. Thank God there is no baseman here right now. That would have definitely been thrown out. Definitely going to say first baseman. There's just no baseman there. That's what I said. Don't yell at me, guys. I promise it was an accident. But... This one, another single right here. Drops down in front of Ender and Ciarte. I believe he's still the center fielder. Base is juiced right now. Down 2-3. And Bishop disrespects the Braves organization. He's disrespecting players who haven't played in 20, 30 years. Look like at that. His 16th bomb of the season. Grand salami time. I hope you're hungry, Jesse Biddle. I hope you're hungry because... You just ate a salami sandwich right there. Big bombs. Goodbye, baseball. Former Phillies number one prospect, Jesse Biddle right there. And he is going to regret that right there. He's just going to regret that straight up. Where does this baby land? Does it tell me how far it went? I really hope it tells me how far it went. Because I want to see how much disrespect... We put on that former Phillies prospect. It does not. That's unfortunate. I am deeply saddened by that, really. But Bishop gets a hold of another one. His one's going to deep left field. Does it have the distance? And it does. His 17th on the season. This one, not a no-doubter like the first one. Not a mammoth shot. But this time off Max Freed. I mean, second of the game. Phillies take a 7-3 to lead. On the monstrous bat of Chance Bishop. I mean, Bishop hits bombs. Everyone say with me, Bishop hits bombs. That's what he does. He hits nothing but bombs. He, just, I mean, he hits singles sometimes. But you need a clutch hit. You're looking at him. Mr. Clutch hitting right here. Let's see. Does that say what to me? I'll follow hands out. It's like third deck, 375. So it's probably what? 3 390 range not too bad not too bad at all look at that picking that ball off the dirt right there one hop it throws Honda Hoskins at first and look at that first out of the bottom of the ninth right here on to the next game right now Bishop and the Phillies lead this team uh, Braves one nothing top of the first one man out one man on you know 2 2 now top of the fourth Bishop can get a hold of that one, send that one to left center field. It's going to get down in front of the center fielder. Bishop going to test the arm strength, going to slide in safely to second. I mean, last time I tried to do that, a little iffy of a play, but he got thrown out. So it's good to see that Bishop learned from his mistake, did a little more running, you know, sprints today. But uh, picking up where he left off, sends that one deep to right field. Hello, Chop House, as they get a souvenir. Someone didn't order a uh, baseball with their uh, side of fries, but guess what? You just got one because Chance Bishop does not care where he plays. He will send the biggest, baddest, meanest home runs 
to wherever you are. He will bring home runs galore to a town near you because Bishop hits bombs. No way around it. Bishop is an amazing power hitter. Look at that. No doubt shot. Where does that hit? That hits right, the row in front of chop, the chop on restaurant. I mean, could have broke some glass right there if that hit off that window. But he's courteous. Doesn't want to pay a huge bill in damages. But that's whatever it happens. Bottom of the fifth, though, we get that throw out right there. You know, top of the seventh right now. Bishop gets a hold of another one. Sends this one to the right field. Goes over the right field of Nick Marquez. I believe he's still here. And we're going to cruise up in a second. Not going to test for third. We don't need to test for third. We know we're not that fast. But top of the eighth now. We're up 12 to 2. And we're going to, be, we're going to mercifully, and I mean mercifully, fly out. 13 to 2 now. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs. And look at that. Going to showtime catch this one right here. Going to dive for it. Gets it on the line. Don't even need to throw it because we just picked it out of the air. Aaron Nola gets the win on the day so far, it looks like. So it's good for him. Good for the young Phillies pitcher right here because he needs all the confidence he can get. Because he's last season, I mean, he's a great pitcher, but his last season just was not up to par. Look at his acrobatic throw by chance pitcher. He's thrown out. He threw him out. Five feet off the third base bag, and he was about four feet in the air. He was parallel to the third base coach before he threw him out. But look at that. Not just the only, not only Bishop's flashing the leather, as the right fielder Jack Peterson robs Bishop of a hit right by himself, too. Top of the third right now, Bishop can get a lovely little pop up right here. Nice, easy routine pop. Look at the size difference between Chance Bishop and Gene Segura. I mean, gosh, Gene Segura is like, what, 5'9"? Bishop at 6'6 is an absolute unit. Uh, where's this one going to land? That's going to land in the glove. I thought that was a lot farther than it was, and I was surely mistaken. But back in the field right now, top of the fifth, 10 pitches so far for our relief pitcher, Juan Nicasio. Nice little ground at the chance Bishop going to end this inning. Right, his also make the throw correctly, and we do goodbye. End of the inning. Bottom of the sixth right now. Dodgers still got that one run lead. So I mean, we need to stop it here. We need to make sure the Dodgers do not come back and win this. But uh, doing stuff like that is not going to stop it. So let's take a two one lead right now. Bottom of the eighth. Bishop trying for some insurance runs. Send this one the opposite way. But it gets it was far inside and jams. It was gonna be a lazy pop up to the right fielder. Bit of a shame right there. Eesh. Next game, six nothing Dodgers, and Bishop does not care what the score is. He's gonna disrespect you regardless. He's gonna give this Phillies team something true as he sends a deep home run to right field. Yeah, makes this score a little more respectable. Six to one. I mean, you're welcome. I mean, what can I tell you? But you're welcome. I mean, Chance brought this team a championship last year. Like I said, like single handedly, he was part of the reason this team won a championship last season. I mean, Bryce Harper, Reese Hoskins, Aaron Nola, Chance Bishop, all part of this team that brought this team to the 20, 2020 World Series. But Bishop back at it again, bottom of the fourth right now, no one out. Oh, 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 count. Disrespects the pitcher again. One more time. Why don't you, Chance? Sends that one to right field for a home run. His 20th. 20th on the season right here. Let's go, Phillies is right. You guys chilling out with the, with the cheesesteak sign in the rain. Could not get any better than this right now. Two home runs on the name. Dave Roberts is stressing out so hard right now. I mean, he does, he does not understand that he is... Up by four runs still. That I'm only probably gonna get like one more at bat before this game's over, and you're fretting a home run. But I think Dave needs to chill out a little bit. Like Dave, like seriously, calm down. You know, within three now, bomb top of the fifth. My apologies, chance Bishop in the field. Gonna get this ground ball right here. Bare hands it, gets it, cocks it back, throws it onto first base, and he's thrown out. Way to go, chance Bishop to get that arm accuracy up. Bottom of the fifth right now. Chance Bishop does it again. The disrespect train is 
real. He does not care who you are. He will dishonor you out of the league. He will call the GM of your team and courageously ask him to send you down so you do not have to face him. I don't believe it's the same pitcher right now. It might be, but I highly doubt it. But three run, uh, three runs off Chance Bishop, three solo home runs. I mean, we are hot, hot, hot this game. I'm not sure who 18 is for the Dodgers. I don't want to guess it's Kent Maeda because I don't believe it's Kent Maeda. But just a mammoth shot. Look at that. Clears right field into the bullpens right here. Bottom of the seventh right now. Bishop wants to send this one the other way. Is it deep enough to see under a four? No, but it bounces inside the foul line. It's a fair ball. Bishop will cruise into second. That throw is wide. Fail the challenge. So they want to hit a home run. Bottom of the eighth right now. Up, I guess, down seven to five. Good chance to make it a one run lead for the Dodgers. And we fly out. How unfortunate for this chance Bishop game. End up dropping that game, I believe. But starting off the next game right, tying it up with a bomb. B-O-M-B bomb. You don't you don't have the ability to send home runs deep to left field like that unless you're hitting moonshots. I mean, this this Phillies team, I guess it's more or less this fan base, not out here supporting the Phillies like they should. I get it. It's raining. I wouldn't want to go to a game in the rain either. I went to the game... I went to the Philly Star Wars night game, which was, what, the 17th? So that's, what, three days ago, the time of this upload? And it just started downpouring. I mean, downpouring for two hours it downpoured. So, I mean, I wasn't sticking around for two hours. I had work the next day. I had to be up at 8 a.m. to babysit, so I left early. Well, I'm not sure if it's just the Phillies or someone else complained about it. But I got a nice little email from the Phillies being like, hey, uh, we apologize for last night's weather delay. We understand since the Dodgers are a West Coast team, it's kind of hard to reschedule games like that. And I'm like, I get that. It's fair. I'm not even going to be mad about that. I wasn't even mad. I, you know, my night was fine. Was I a little upset the game was late and I kind of left early? Yeah. But hey, I got my Jake Garrett a bobblehead and I was having a good night. I had a good night so far and... Again, email from the Phillies yesterday, so that's, what, the 18th? I mean, it's probably two days ago for this upload. So, the 18th, I get an email from the Phillies stating about their apologies for the weather. And it offered me up to two free tickets for the left field, which was the seats were better than the seats I had. I was literally, if you've been to Citizens Bank Park, the seats I had were in that left field corner. Not quite behind the foul pole, but in that same section the foul pole is in. But now my seats are the row over. It's the section over, so it's like 142 now instead of 141. So the seats are just a little better. Really, really appreciate that. Super fun, super class organization for doing something like that. Like, I didn't say anything personally to the Phillies about the game. I just woke up to an email from them saying, hey, we apologize for this, so you get two free tickets. So I'm going to take my girlfriend to a game because she wants to go to a game with me. So. I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, take the girlfriend on a cute little date with free tickets. Does she know they're free? Yeah. Kind of hard to hide that. But uh, bottom of the ninth right now, Chance Bishop. And Bishop does it all. He did not just do that. Chance Bishop, first pitch he sees, wins this Game, Bishop with the walk-off blast. Can you believe it? Do you believe in miracles? Because Chance Bishop does. That thing kids, you know, they dream about every night. You know, hang a walk-off home run. Usually in the World Series, that's what it is. But right now, close enough. He hits his first career walk-off bomb. Look at that. We have a mob making my home plate right now. You can't even get much better than that. Let's take a replay at this home run. And look at that swing. He just knew it. Look at that. That's just gone. There is nothing about that that thought you can catch it. I mean, where is that going to fall? 
Man, that lands a second. That's almost the top of the second deck. Jeez. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have missed any episodes, please put us down below. And to on YouTube, peace out, rock on, and stay classy. And before I go, one last question. What do you guys think about memorabilia like bobbleheads with sports players on it?